it's your girl Daisy. So this video is going to delve a little bit deeper into shadow work and some journal prompts. The last video that I posted spoke about shadow work, what it is, some quick ways to identify how your shadow is trying to get your attention, and also quick easy steps to Put you in a mindful position so that you learn to embrace your shadow self and how to work through it. This video is going to really dive deeper into some of the journal prompts. These are going to be standard journal prompts. I do plan on doing a video for different categories of our health, such as emotional health, physical health, mental health, financial health, and we can use shadow work journal prompts for several aspects of our lives, not just for trauma. The process of exploring and discovering your shadow self as a form of self-care in order to help you implement boundaries with other people, in order to learn healthy coping mechanism skills, in order to develop a self-acceptance for yourself has been transformational in a positive way for my life and has really helped my mental health and just helped me move past certain triggers and experiences that I may not have even fully addressed. So just a quick recap, shadow work is just a practice of learning to forgive parts of yourself. The shadow self is part of you that you tend to hide from others due to different feelings, or maybe embarrassment or guilt. Essentially, the reason why we hide from our shadow self is because we haven't learned how to fully process certain emotions and we may not be ready at that point in time. So that is how our shadow self grows. It feeds off of that insecurity of that vulnerability. I spoke about Carl Jung, who's a Swiss psychiatrist who actually developed this term of the shadow self. It's one of the ones that he, it's one of the archetypes that Carl Jung is known for along with the anima, animus, and these are things that I can also do other videos about. Jung believed that these archetypes are actually symbols and images of the collective unconscious mind. So Carl Jung's archetype of the shadow is usually compared to Sigmund Freud's id, the id. And Sigmund Freud spoke about the id, which is comprised of three parts, are the id, the ego, and the superego. So according to Freud, the id is the main driving force that is responsible for just motivations, the sexual drive, the hidden drives or hidden memories and aggressive drives. The super ego, according to Freud, is the moral conscious where our ego is the in-between of all of this. So when people compare Sigmund Freud and Carl Jung's to have the same theologies, um, that's actually incorrect. Carl Jung believed that the shadow self is not all inherently negative and that the negative aspects within ourselves can be used if addressed properly to help instill and move towards creativity. According to Jung, our shadow side is the side that our ego is ashamed or embarrassed of, which is why we've repressed it. Modern shadow work refers to discovering our shadow traits, healing them, and forgiving ourselves for them. A lot of times it's easy for us to see shadow traits in other people, yet it can be really hard for us to really understand what we may have as our shadow. And that requires a lot of introspection. So shadow traits may show up as anger, envy, jealousy, bursts of outrage, manipulation, self-centeredness, selfishness, stubbornness, and being judgmental. So deep diving into our shadow self through journaling and meditation can really help us understand what makes us tick and why. Eventually the goal is to learn what your shadow traits and aspects of yourself are work through them and heal them and realize that you do have these things and understand why so that you can move towards a more positive 
happy mindset. So I'll give you guys some shadow work prompts just for a general overview. And then I plan on breaking down into different categories, shadow work journal prompts for different aspects of your life. So the first shadow work journal prompt that I'm gonna share with you is gonna take you back to your childhood. Name a time where you were wrong in your childhood. How did that make you feel? Has this situation affected you in your adulthood? How have you started healing through this? The second journal prompt is, think about a person who betrayed your trust. What would you say to that person now? The third prompt is, write about a time that someone you saw as a role model let you down. The fourth prompt is, name one trait that you see in other people that you wish you had. Why do you not have that characteristic yourself? The fifth prompt, and the last one for this video, is going to be, what were your parents or guardians' core values growing up? How did those values make you feel at that point in time? Do you still hold those values today? If not, why? Well, I hope you guys found this video helpful to get you started on your shadow work journey. I know it's been super instrumental in my own journey, and trust me, I use these techniques myself. And when I find that I do this more consistently, I find that I'm more open to growth. And it's okay to show yourself grace. It's not going to be easy because a lot of the feelings when you really look back at your responses, you're like, wow, I really felt that. I can't believe that I used to believe that. Or there's just certain things that may not resonate with you at this point in your life. And that's okay. Just be kind to yourself. It is not an easy process. Just show yourself love. Show yourself grace. And know that you're not alone on this journey. The healing journey is a tough one, but it is not impossible. It is very possible. You just have to believe it. So that being said, I hope everything resonates with you. I wish you love, light, and healing. Mwah. I love you.